Hey everyone, it is Savvy Coupon Shopper here with my first gro Hey everyone, it is Savvy Coupon Shopper here with my first grocery store haul. And I'm just kind of scanning along the items that I got today. My trip consisted of four stores. First one being Aldi, Walmart, Target, and then a couple of things at Jewel. So these are a couple of the things that I got along with milk and meats up here. And I'm just going to kind of go through, and then I did get a couple price match couponing items that I had to throw in today because deals were ending and, you know, couponers, we can't, we can't pass up a good deal. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is something new that I'm trying. I hope that you guys will enjoy it. Please comment below. Let me know if there's something you're looking into or something you would like to see. I know there's a lot of grocery hauls out there and um, I'm trying to make mine a little bit unique because a lot of times we don't see beverages or we don't see dog food or toilet paper. We kind of just see little items here and there rather than seeing the whole picture of food for, you know, whether it's a week or two weeks. Now my particular videos will be for two week grocery store hauls. And just to give you a little bit of idea, I'll kind of run through meal plans. My meal plans will be very basic. I'm not getting into like recipes unless that's something that you like to see. Comment below and let me know. But it's just an overview of what we're going to do for kind of lunch, dinners, um, breakfast, snacks, and meats, of course, because meat is probably one of the most um, expensive things to purchase uh, grocery-wise. Um, my budget is $200 every two weeks. We are a family of four, my husband and my two children. So my son Joey is seven and my daughter Samantha is four. So just to give you an idea of who I'm feeding and um, you know how kids are and all the things that they eat. So that is the budget, $200 every two week, and then $50 for miscellaneous items. Miscellaneous items will include like the toilet paper, the paper towels, the, you know, miscellaneous items, or just kind of an overage for things in between the two weeks. Because I try and just go shopping every two weeks. I'll only go to the store if we need like bread or eggs, or occasionally I'll get lunch meat, things like that for school. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first trip was at Aldi. Right now, Aldi, I am getting like majority of fruits and stuff there. Um, I like the romaine salad. It's always $1.99 for the three, which is a good price. And their apples are $2.99, which is, which is probably the cheapest price that I've seen. Um, got some tomatoes for the salad and then, um, a couple of bananas. Now we've been eating a lot of fruit, so this is kind of light this week, uh, fruit wise. But I did get a good price match on these strawberries. And if you've never price matched, it's just as good as couponing. It's just as good as having a coupon for an item because sometimes the savings are so significant. An example, these strawberries were $3.29 at Walmart. I price matched them. Um, the store that I price matched them from is Food for Less. And they were $1.69. So I picked up two for $1.69 each. And to do that, I just brought the grocery store ad um, to the checkout counter. So basically, um, a tip if you've never price matched, put all your regular priced items first and then let the cashier know that you have items at the end that you're going to price match so that you can separate them and warn her, be, warn her or him because they're going to have to manually price them down. So you don't want things to get confused and them to start ringing them up and then they have to take it off and... It could turn into a mess. So my tip is to always keep your price match items at the end. It's always good when they get the regular items out of the way. People see the line moving. They feel better. And if there's a couple items to price match, it's okay. And don't overwhelm your cashier with everything that you're price matching. If you have a ton to price match, I would suggest maybe bringing a buddy and doing two transactions. But I wouldn't do you know, a, t a cart full of stuff price matching um, at one transaction. And then another example were these green peppers. They were 88 cents each at Walmart. I got three of them. 
because that same store food for less had three for 99 cents so that was a great savings there and one thing that we always get every two weeks is a huge bag of potatoes this is a 10 pound bag it was two dollars and 49 cents at all these potatoes are great fillers um, for you know baked potatoes they're simple mashed potatoes i make french fries um, if you're making chili which we are a chili family you know we will cook a baked potato and then just slap the chili on the baked potato and it's more of a filling meal so you're filling up the family but it's you know pennies to do so so i recommend you guys putting potatoes in your food budget especially if you're on a tight budget um, that will help you out quite a bit breakfast foods if you guys have watched my videos before i have a ton of cereal um, in my uh, deals and stuff so i'd say right now i have at least 25 boxes if not more and i give a lot away because there's only so much cereal that we can eat so i haven't bought cereal um at regular price in probably five years since I've been couponing so my rule of thumb is if a box of cereal is 50 cents or less I'll pick it up regardless of how much cereal I'll have um, if things are starting to expire I will give them away to family friends whomever someone that can use them so that's kind of a, a rule of thumb for me and um, always check your pantry when you're getting new items, rotate them so you're putting the ones that will be expiring soon up front. That'll help you um, get the maximum out of the food that you're buying rather than wasting. So then I picked up um, Aldi's, these French toast sticks, and um, Walmart. They had Aunt Jemima uh, French toast. These were $2. I had a dollar manufacturer coupon on each, so brought it down to a dollar. And my kids love these buttermilk pancakes. Now I buy the huge bag of pancake mix from Walmart and at my store it's like $6 and something and I make homemade pancakes because it's a lot cheaper than buying this bag. Um, it's like $3.36, which isn't a bad price, but my kids have gotten hooked on, they like these pancakes better than mine. So um, the kids eat these and then I eat my my homemade pancakes, which are probably bet, which are better than theirs, but that's what they do. They're spoiled. Um, and then I have tons of oatmeal because I got a great deal on oatmeal at um, Target a while back. Big canisters of Quaker oatmeal, so that's something that we'll have in the morning time too. And a couple of yogurts. I have a lot of yogurts from last week, so I just picked up four because. Um, I want to use the ones that I have now and then kind of bring these ones in there. Moving over to miscellaneous things. These um, noodle bowls were free this week. I price matched them from Food for Less. They're two for a dollar. And there was a dollar off two manufacturer coupon in the 125 Smart Source. So that made those free. Pick those up. These are breadcrumbs for um, meatloaf. Got a lot of ground beef. Great deal on, on ground beef, um, so I'm going to use that. If I don't have breadcrumbs, which I haven't had breadcrumbs for the last three meatloafs that I made, I just crumble up crackers or I put almonds and blend those up to little shreds and then I kind of use them for my mixture for my meatloaf and it tastes just as good. I uh, picked up some of these tuna creation packets. There's a 75 cent I bought a rebate, so I will be picking that up as well. And I personally like the ranch ones. There's a lemon kind. And then we've got four cans of these large um, home style Campbell's soups. So I like to have soup on hand for a quick lunch, something quick to make. Um, and it doesn't take time and it's cheap. So four cans of that. Picked up a couple little things, ranch dressing. I love ranch dressing, peanut butter. My daughter loves applesauce. Um, and then I love these balance bars. These were at Target. And if you watched my Target video, they're 34 cents with a dollar off two coupon. My store only had two, so I picked those up. Um, family loves this beef pasta skillet dinner. So I picked up two of them because the recipe calls for a pound of ground beef, but I never use that much ground beef. I don't like, I'd rather have more noodle than meat. Um, so we'll have that. That'll make 
plenty for leftovers. And then I've got four cans of tuna here. And then I've got um, diced tomatoes and kidney beans for some chili. I always put macaroni noodles in my chili. It kind of buffs them up. It makes the meal go further. So keep that in mind. A couple loaves of bread. I have frozen loaves in the freezer. So what I'll do is I'll freeze these and then I will take out mine from the following weeks where I've kind of built a stock and use those and then just keep these in order, try and keep them fresh. Four boxes of uh, mac and cheese. There was a 20% off cartwheel deal at Target. Mama Cozy's pizza. This is an Aldi's pizza. It's really good and it's $1.99, so it's cheap. Smucker's Uncrustables. My son likes these for school, along with like peanut butter and jelly. He loves ham and cheese sandwiches. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that I give him. Got him a bag of these penguin shaped nuggets. Three bag of veggies, corn mixed, and then broccoli. And then these tortillas for tacos. Two cartons of two dozen eggs there. Some Jenny O turkey franks, and then I got some Hormel um, deli. This is a ham, and then some turkey, and then I got a couple of um, cheeses. The cheese at Aldi was $1.79, so we like Pepper Jack and Colby for quick sandwiches, or they can go on the tortillas. Um, just different ideas. Love these biscuits at Aldi's. I think they're 39 cents. I use these for little Smokies for the kids. Now, per biscuit, I wrap three Smokies. So I cut it in three sections. It goes, it goes much further. So we have some of those in the refrigerator from um, the week. We've got sour cream. My husband loves sour cream for his baked potatoes, cream cheese. My kids love these Salisbury steak dinners. I can't stand them. But um, I like to pick those up for in-between meals. So I've got like four of those. And then a couple of, I like the beef and pepper. This one's pretty decent and it's like 80 cents. So Encore dinners, this is a chicken parmesan. I'll just make some spaghetti noodles because I have a huge stock of pasta. So I haven't bought pasta in five years. <laughs> pretty much because there's always a sale on pasta. And then we'll just have that with the garlic bread and this is garlic bread from jewel 99 cents you can't even buy the bread and make your own garlic bread for 99 cents so i just cut it like in four sections and this will give us um you know two to three meals out of it and i just freeze it in freezer bags so rather than making it all and then it gets kind of dried out i use it for a couple of meals um chips don't really buy name brand chips unless there's a cheap sale these are all from aldi tortilla chips and then we got some um, other plain tortilla chips from salsa because we have leftover salsa from last week and then um, quick rice cakes right there. Kids love these cheese and crackers from Aldi so those are 99 cents and then we got two Go-Gurts those were at Jewel we picked those up. A great price match offer on Goldfish Ultra Foods had them four for five, so I price matched them for $1.25 each, and then there was a 15% cartwheel, so they were like $1.09 per pack, which is a great deal. Um, my daughter loves these taquitos, the beef and cheese, so I picked up those. Jewel had some, uh, say, $4 on four Nabisco products, so we bought the cheddar, the Ritz Bits peanut butter, and then two of the um, Despicable Me cheese crackers. So my kids love cheese crackers. So that pretty much ends all of this section. Let's move on over. Two cases of water. We have water at home, but we use these for like the packet mixes. We use these to go. My son takes them to school. Four gallons of water. Um, I like having the gallons of water because when I use the... Um, the mixes, I just pour the packet in there, shake it up, throw it in the fridge, and it's ready to go. Um, I have a ton of Crystal Light. I had a deal at Meyer that I picked up Crystal Light that I'll probably have enough for most of the summer. So we do not buy soda. We are not soda drinkers, so it's pretty much water. I got two apple juices for the kids. Jewel had them two for three. Um, and I do pick up a 10 pack of juice box every two weeks for my son so he'll take 
juice once in a while or he'll take water or he'll get milk at school. He likes the chocolate milk. View my coffee. I'm going generic. This is Aldi. I'm giving it a shot. I like coffee creamer anyway, so I'm sure it'll taste great. Um, a 200 count pack of paper plates. There was a dollar off up and up coupon in their little um, packet in front of the store. We got two bags of dog food. Those were buy one, get one free, and there was a dollar off Target coupon. A big pack of Scott toilet paper, $1.50 Target coupon, and then a 75 cent manufacturer coupon. Four pack of paper towels. We got some freezer bags, some sandwich bags. There's that. And then these I got for Valentine's Day gifts. They were a dollar. So if your budget is tight, things that you're going to want to stay away from are paper plates and paper towels. Um, find alternatives. Use, you know, be the dishwasher. Um, you know, I find rags to use to clean up spills and messes. Um, they can be costly unless you use them wisely. So that's a little bit of a tip. Two gallons of milk. We got a large package of chicken, $8.28 at Walmart, which was a good deal. Great deal on beef at Jewel, $10.26 for almost three and a half pounds of meat. Now in this family pack, it was only $2.99 a pound. If you bought um, the pound pack, it was $5.49. So sometimes it makes sense to buy a little bit more. What I do with my meat is I use the storage bags, break them down into um, meals, and just pull them from my freezer whenever we're making something. That way it's pre-packed and ready to go. We are gonna have this pork center cut filet. I will just throw this in the crock pot, some mashed potatoes, a vegetable, we're ready to go. Uh, pork chops package of pork chops. This is from Aldi's. We're not big sausage people, but I'll make this with like a rice um, kind of a thing and we'll go with that. And then this week we're going to have a turkey. Great deal on Butterball Turkey at Aldi. So I picked up this 11 pound turkey and it was $12. So we'll get a couple days meals out of that. Sandwiches, you know, turkey. It'll go quite a while. So that's kind of everything that I have to show you guys um, as far as my haul. I have the receipts here, the proof to show you. So this is my first trip. Um, that is not my first trip. Let me get my first trip for you. Aldi was $67.93. Then I headed to Walmart. Walmart was $82.23. And then we headed to Target, which came to $38.14. And finally, Jewel was the last stop, which was $35.54. So overall, out of my total of $250, I spent $223. So I'm pretty happy with that. I've got a lot of meals to plan. Um, again, I have a ton of stuff in my stock that I'll be incorporating in the the next two weeks so I know we'll get through the two weeks um, and it gives me a little bit of extra money I'm thinking maybe at the end of the week we'll get some lunch meat for um, school lunches um, my daughter's home my son goes to school next week so I hope